it's it's seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added. It's like the virtues that your kid will learn being a good Catholic will help him get to college. I want him to be him or her to be a better person, a better Christian than a better academic. Yep. You know, but, but like that's. And, and there are parents that have come up and said to me, you are the first school that ever said that. And you, you have my business. You, my, I will be sending my child to your school because you're the first one who said the word heaven or the first one who said, you know, mentioned their soul. And we've, we've been on X number of like walkthroughs of other Catholic schools. Right. And there are parents that are looking for that. And they, you know, you would think they, they ought to be, but a, a lot of parents really want to hear the language of the supernatural right. because that's what they're, that's what they're looking for. Um, at least you would hope so. Right. And I, I mean, I'm, would. I'm happy you use the word business there and then you yeah. kind of corrected yourself or tried to, but I don't think, I think there is a part of it that, mm. that I think that word business is, is why schools aren't going completely gung ho with that kind of approach where listen here faith comes first. I think there are a lot of schools that are very hesitant to take that approach because I think the fear is, well, if we, if we lead with that, mm. then we're, we're already struggling. Uh, the, there's been a huge decline in, um, kids enrolling in Catholic school as it is. So if we start with that, then I know we're going to lose. I know we're going to lose the kids, but like, I think. It couldn't be further from the truth. It couldn't be further from the truth. And I think if you don't have that approach, then, then, then you're in for it. Then, okay. then you're just, then the, the, the decline is just going to continue. And at that point, you're going to close your doors anyway. Right. So, so why not have that approach? The, 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 well, truthfully, the right approach and the, and the only approach that there should be. Right. Why, why are Academic, we doing this? <laughs> academics are important. <laughs> right. Absolutely important. But if you don't have an environment and, and the parents don't get the message that, listen, faith comes first here. And if you don't like it, there are plenty of other private schools. Sure. Or Catholic schools. Sure. And there's nothing wrong with that. And that's right? fine. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. But this is our, our mission. If you look on the mission statement of all these Catholic schools, a lot of them were written by nuns or priests because these places were found in the 60s when the church was super alive and growing. Right. They're beautiful. And, uh, you know, a lot of the mission statements or there's like a little plaque that hangs on a lot of classrooms that Jesus is the the teacher that's in this school. And I and th- to be fair, um, the culture of Catholic schools has changed so much because we don't have religious running them anymore. So think of think of a time when every teacher was a religious person, um, when the principal was a priest. Um, Now it's quite the opposite. Now um, you have all lay people who have to leave at 3, 3.30 because they have families, which they ought to do. That's their vocation. But it's not the same undivided heart that that started these schools. And so we're kind of uh, chugging along on on like leaking tires to begin with. So if we're not really leaning on the grace of the sacraments, really leaning into prayer, really hiring people with dynamic, authentic, vibrant faith. It's no wonder that these are, are going to be limping and kind of business wise going, going in a bad direction. 